Hello and welcome back to another video from Forward Cameras uh, Camera Tutorials. So today I'm going to talk about a very unique camera that comes out of China and it's called the Great Wall Camera. Now this is a camera from the 1980s. It doesn't quite look like it, but um, it does. And one of the reasons why this is such a unique camera is because it was not only meant to just be a medium format SLR, but the lens itself can be then used for an old dark room and larger, and it has two different purposes, thus making the camera very uh, unique and, uh, and also useful for someone who wants to kind of enlarge the photos later on. Um, from what I know, there's only one lens that was made for this camera that came forward the camera, came with the camera. Um, this camera was built by the Beijing Camera Company, and it's based off of a similar model camera from either the 1930s or 1940s. So this camera is pretty cool, and I'm going to talk about it. It's a fully manual camera. There's no internal light meter, which means you have to use either your cell phone light meter or an external light meter to use it, or just Sunny 16 rule. So let's talk about how do we use the Great Wall camera if we find one of these unique cameras. Um, I picked mine up when I was in Beijing. There's a really cool camera market there. So number one, it has limited shutter speeds. One two hundredth of a second, one one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, and then bowl mode for long exposure. So it's very limited in shutter speed but it's still pretty cool to use. It uses 120 film and can take either 12 square shots or 16 uh, 6 by 4.5 centimeter uh, shots, 16 I meant shots. So it's pretty cool in that respect. Um, and so this is how we use it. So basically, on the bottom of the camera, like most TLR cameras, even though this is an SLR, single lens reflex camera, so you're actually, when you look down in here, when I open it, I'll show you in a little bit, you're seeing directly through the lens, just like any other SLR, through a mirror over here inside. TLR, you're looking through two lens, like the top lens, and then the bottom lens is the one that takes the photo. So let's talk about how to use it. Now, um, the bottom of the camera, it's a little difficult to see, but there's this black area here, and then there's a lock. So we need to press the lock, right? And then we have to rotate from Guan um, to Kai. Guan means right is closed, and Kai means open. So we want to rotate it. Right, let me see if I can do it. You have to rotate it this way, sorry. There's these two things open and close see that and you can see it unlocks up here and when it's unlocked we're ready to put our film in okay so this is what it looks like inside we would put our 120 roll of film spool down here and we'll take the old one put it up here how do you put a film spool in these open and close so you could pop the spool in so let me show you take the old one out see Put it in the top. This is going to be used as the take-up spool. Takes a little practice getting it in a little, it's a little wonky popping this in, but you kind of pop it in. Right? Until it clicks. This won't click, this will click. And this will be the take-up spool. So you put your 120 roll foam around here through the back. And then into here, you wind until you get the arrows across the back like any other medium format camera. Once it's done, you close the camera and then you lock it by moving these two metal pieces back. See, they rotate open and close. Now it's closed, make sure it's closed. Then what do you wanna do? So if we do six by six negatives, with our 12, which is the normal, right, square negatives. We open this up, right? And in here, there's a little view area. If we want 16, we would rotate, use like a 
coin or like some type of screwdriver we would rotate this over and this gets revealed for 16 but we're gonna do our 12 right which is six by six centimeters the square is traditional medium format and you rotate this lever keep rotating rotate rotating so you see a one here okay and it's a little it's a little hard to see but there's a little box here you close it you don't leave it open when you want to go to the next frame you open it and then you roll again until you see the two so on and so forth okay that's pretty much most tlrs so number one we want to look through here how do we do that we pull it open and you can see there's a waist level viewfinder and a nice magnifying glass to help us see like to focus okay we could put it down here if we want to look down we look from the waist downwards and you can see a little bit in there let me get closer right you can see that there's a nice little area in here um so that's that all right so that being said that's our viewfinder i'm going to close it because we don't need it right now and yes, it's an SLR, so what you're seeing through the viewfinder is what you see through the lens. How do you check do your shutter speed? Let me adjust my camera. Okay. How do you do your shutter speed? This is your shutter speed. So you adjust it by popping it out and then moving it until it clicks. And there's a little arrow over there, and it tells you which one you're on. 1 30th, bulb, for long exposure, like setting this up on a tripod, you put it on B. And you can hold the shutter open for however long you want. So you could do like nighttime photos, streaks of cars, all sorts of cool stuff. And then we rotate it back if we want faster shutter speed, like 200th of a second, right? Which is that right now, it clicks. Okay, so how do we use this? Um, we could also remove the lens. Right, it's a screw mount lens. So there's no clicking involved. It has a screw over here, see that? It's only one lens for the camera, so you don't have to worry. Unless you lose the lens and then you have to find another one. It has a pretty wonky design in terms of the mirror inside for our SLR. So how do we do the shutter? As you can see, the mirror kind of rotates like this very strange not unlike any 35 millimeter slr where the mirror kind of flaps up and then down this one actually rotates it's pretty unique so i just took my photo by the way this is the shutter button over here you press that down to take the picture so you would rotate 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 this to get to the next frame you're on the next frame cool what do you do so now you'll be wondering like how do we fire this thing in terms of taking a photo. Okay, let's put our lens back on number one. So we rotate clockwise, put the lens on counterclockwise, take it off. So we wind this to our next frame. We look in here, okay, I'm on number two, whatever. Okay, and then what do we do? We wanna take a photo. So we hold this button down or we pull it up until it clicks. And then we rotate this until it clicks. Okay, you heard that click. You want to take a photo, you press the shutter down. Hear it? I want to rotate to a 1 30th of a second, so it's faster, f slower. We now hold this button up, rotate this till it clicks, and then listen, it'll be slower. Hear that? Slower shutter speed. If I want to rotate to bulb mode for long exposure, I hold this little metal piece up again, rotate till it clicks, and then hold it down for however long we want, and then up. And that's how we use the shutter. Okay, to do the aperture, the aperture ring is on the lens of the camera, and we rotate. So right now it was at 22, 3.5. Now here's the thing. This is not an automatic shutdown of the aperture for this camera. The aperture actually opens and closes it's hard to see in the inside the lens right now with the video but it doesn't automatically do that so 
what you see in here, if you have on a 22 aperture, would be the correct depth of field to be very dark. So you would probably want to focus at a much bigger aperture, 3.5 or low, or about that, around that range. So you can see a very clear image, otherwise it's going to be too dark. And then, according to your light meter, you look okay. I want my, my uh, shutter speed and my aperture a certain amount according to the exposure on my light meter. I set it, but we keep our aperture open while we're focusing, and then we stop it down to where we want to take the photo. Otherwise, it's too dark unless you have really good vision. Um, you can see it's pretty cool. Everything's in Mandarin here. Tianqi means the type of weather, right? Different types of things here are really interesting. Um, like a lot of TLRs have this sort of thing. It allows you to put a flash here. See, it has a hot show. That's cool. So you can attach an external flash. And you can also, if you need to plug in your flash, you have the front little area here. Um, there's a tripod connector, so you could hook it to a tripod. Um, this is a really cool camera overall, and that's pretty much how you use it. Uh, so, thank you so much. I hope that you subscribe by clicking our button to subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Forward Cameras. Follow us on Instagram, at Forward Cameras. Follow us on Twitter, at Forward Cameras. And check out our online store by... Uh, using our Etsy shop link that's provided on the page. Uh, please again, subscribe, and thank you so much. Take care.